diabetic pathology and hyperbaric oxygen. Diabetes affects more than 12 million people and is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. Basically, this is a disease of the small blood vessels, microangiopathy. Just being diagnosed as a diabetic immediately puts a person into a higher risk category for cardiovascular disease, including strokes and heart attacks. However, small blood vessel disease affecting diabetics not only compromises blood flow to the brain and heart, but also to the eyes, kidneys, and nerves, causing diabetic retinopathy, nephropathy, and neuropathy. With diabetes primarily affecting the small blood vessels, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, has been demonstrated to stimulate the creation of new blood vessels to help combat compromised blood flow and prevent organ failure. Hyperbaric oxygen has been shown to lower the above risks. Studies have demonstrated the benefits of hyperbaric oxygen therapy in diabetic patients with the following. Improved blood chemistry profile, fasting blood sugar, hemoglobin HbA1c levels, and lipid profiles. Stimulates the creation of new blood vessels, improves microcirculation, restores impaired blood flow to affected organs, brain, heart, eyes, nerves, kidneys, attenuates peripheral nerve damage, reduces risk of non-healing wound, advances glycemic control, increases insulin sensitivity, increases uptake of glucose by skeletal muscle, improves insulin production, promotes and accelerates internal external wound healing, promotes new blood vessel formation towards wounded tissue, facilitates new collagen tissue, helps control diabetic foot ulcers, promotes closure of chronic non-healing wounds, remediates infection including bone infections, osteomyelitis, reduces amputee rate, reduces cardiovascular risk, promotes long-term blood pressure control, decreases risk of sudden heart attack due to ventricular arrhythmias, reduces metabolic syndrome. A study published in 2008 evaluated the efficacy of hyperbaric oxygen treatment with respect to decreasing amputation rates on diabetic foot ulcers. A total of 184 consecutive patients were treated with hyperbaric oxygen, one hour sessions, six days a week with examinations performed at three, six, and 12 month intervals in conjunction with standard treatments for their diabetic foot ulcer. Following treatment, 115 were completely healed, 31 showed no improvement, and 38 underwent amputation. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy's success was illustrated by its ability to create new circulatory pathways, accelerate healing, and increase antibacterial activity. The study confirmed that hyperbaric oxygen therapy can help to reduce major amputation rate in diabetic foot ulcers by repairing tissue. This finding is especially noteworthy considering other conventional treatments had failed. Diabetics can substantially improve their prognosis with hyperbaric oxygen therapy at Living Longer Medical Resort in Desert Hot Springs.